not sure whether you have seen right now but there is a concept called priority group activation that is part of your pool so in this case what happen is uh, just go to can you see this in every pool when i go when i go to members here before load balancing i'll go one feature is called priority group activation what does it mean <coughs> so priority group activation guys is basically used when you have redundancy i'll give you an example let's say i have fi i have four servers okay so one real live use case i'll show you you will get that answer yourself so in this case guys i want that this are your active members and this one i want to keep it stand by i want that this should become active when this have any issues only in that case it should become active or sometimes i can say this is dc environment this are dr environment just i am giving you one example so if any of this server goes down if both server goes down then only traffic should go here so that is where priority group activation comes into picture so let's talk about use case scenario <coughs> what is priority group so priority group activation means you have ability to configure standby servers for active servers these are active servers and you have standby servers so standby servers will not receive traffic until the servers are running so this priority group activation allows you to configure multiple pool members in a pool so what happens let's say i have f5 i have two servers two servers more these are having priority here what we do we have priority assigned these two servers have five these two servers have 10 so until this servers goes down this will not become active standby servers will not receive traffic until of this two priority groups are down so this cdr also you can implement sometimes people say hey i want to implement dcdr that i have two servers in my environment i got this requirement personally that customer say that i have two servers but i want all traffic should go here only if it goes down it should go to this server that is where priority group activation comes into picture but there are two condition which you need to configure to activate this priority group how to make sure that this group becomes active which parameter will decide that this secondary group will active only when this primary group goes down how this will be so there are two configuration parameters which you need to configure in priority group activation use case is simple i want everything to go to this server if this server goes down it should go here that is the simple use case of priority group activation and this will come handy everywhere now how what are the two condition which we configure 
can what i'll do is i'll just have round robin okay i'll do one thing i'll just remove this i'll have two servers s1 s2 okay i'll enable this priority group activation but before that let me assign priority i'll assign server 1 as priority 10 I'll go to server 2. I'll assign priority 5. Now, if I enable this less than. So, guys, this is the condition which decides that condition if in higher priority. Let's in higher priority, you in 10 priority, you have two servers. In five priority, I have two servers more. So I'm saying that less than zero available members. Less than zero means all servers of higher priority is down. Then it will shift to this. So that is where less than condition comes into picture in priority group. First one, you need to assign a priority group. Then the group with highest priority will receive a traffic until this condition becomes true. Minimum number of pool members that should be active before switching down. Let's say I give less than one. So until less than one means if right now is two less than one no i'm giving here less than one just you will understand now i'll give less than one condition what does it mean higher priority s1 s2 s3 s4 right now two members so this condition is true anyone will it go to this two less than one no so it will remain here. Now if one server goes down, so it is having one. So one less than one, no. Now if both goes down, zero less than one, then it will go to this. So it is saying that minimum number of pool member that must be active before this should become active. Now in my case, guys, I'll because I have two members, so I'll say less than one member. Let me give you an example. Because one one server is there in 10 one. If it goes down, it will go to zero less than one. Yes. So it will go to server two. I'll go, I'll show you. Now can you tell me in this scenario? All traffic will go where initially from this condition. Anyone on the chat, guys? I have LTM with priority group enable. I have priority server 1, 10 priority, server 2, priority 5. Initially, all traffic will come to which server? Anyone, guys? Let's see on the chat. Let's see. Everyone is saying server one. Let's see. Okay. I'll just go and check this. Even round robin is there. Should it switch? No, yeah, it's going to read server only. So load balancing does not come into picture. One dot. It means you want all traffic to, to go to one server, DC. If DC goes down, then it should go to DR. I hope now concept is clear. <coughs> Are you seeing? Every time it is going to red server.
now what i'll do i'll make red server down i'll switch off power off now anyone on the chat on which server it should go now right now it's not going down <coughs> excellent sanjay excellent everyone now it is down means priority server does not have zero members minimum number of condition is active now so it should go to 10.2.2. backup server dr server let's see now now question comes if i if higher member comes up it will go to which server and even can tell me now i turn on red server on which server it should go <coughs> let's see people are saying server 1 let's test this <coughs> some time it will take to come up we'll see let's see now now let me so it might be coming to cache let me refresh see you now okay guys so this is how important priority group is first you need to configure priority always higher priority will receive traffic if that goes down or mean sorry if less than condition or priority group condition comes true then it will your backup server will come up so until that condition does not come true less than it will go to the same server this is priority group activation feature now there is a test for you all i'll draw one scenario to just test your knowledge so that you can understand more into that where here you go i have in f5 there are four servers server 1 server 2 server 3 server 4 server 1 10 server 2 10 server 3 5 server 4 5 okay this is the priority i have configured now i have con i need to configure condition condition i have given less than two members now guys if this server goes down how traffic will be allocated load balancing algo is round robin less than two means from higher priority one server go down to one less than two condition activated
initially both the servers are online so it will go here but one of the server goes offline of this let's say if either server one or server two goes down so priority group activation this condition becomes true means next priority group will become activated so when priority group is activated all of his member will become activated now can you tell traffic will go here can you tell how the tra traffic will go it will load balance between okay i'll check your answer first people are saying traffic will go to server 3 server 4 but i have one server in this also please remember this i have server 2 server 3 server 4 condition become true this one become activated only i'm not saying this one will down try to understand this is another scenario based question If right now traffic will go to server 2, server 3, server 4. Okay, this is how it works. Now, if this server 1 comes up, means your condition is not true. So this will become deactivated. So traffic will go here. But if there are scenarios where this will be active or this will be also active. In this case, traffic will load balance here, here. But in once this condition is false, lower member will get deactivated. That's what you have to take care. That is only the thing. That's how interviewer will confuse you. One of the best use case which I can share you in for priority group activation is let's say you have a website in web, when website has some outage or some maintenance going on what do you see anyone on the uh, like we have many people in this group sometimes there is an outage or maintenance going on what do you see there sorry apologies So in that case, priority group activation comes into picture. Sometimes maybe your company is experiencing a partial outage. Some people will able to access the content. Some people will redirect to apology servers. So that is how it is. Another example is DCD or that is mainly it's been used. I want only DC to be active. If DC goes down, DR should be active. That is the another scenario. So that was all about priority group activation.